So another question that was asked from this past Sunday sermon was, doesn't loving others as yourself presuppose a certain level of self-love? And yeah, certainly it does. I mean, that's the assumption Jesus makes when he commands us to love others. He says, you know what it looks like to love yourself, so now turn that around and learn to love others. Now, I think what this question is really trying to get at is this cultural notion that, you know, if you don't like yourself, other people will not like you either. Or if, if you don't love yourself, how do you expect other people to love you? And there is a grain of truth to it, because if you're really depressed and down on yourself, you're not going to be too much fun to be around, and that'll drive uh, other people away. But even in being down on yourself, um, that, that's not caused by too little self-admiration. In fact, uh, um, people who are down on themselves aren't fun because they keep turning the conversation and the focus back to themselves and their problems. So it's not that they're focused on themselves too little, it's that they're focused on themselves too much. Um, we almost need this new belief that if you love yourself too much, that there won't be enough love left for anybody else. And so, uh, really, uh, um, yeah, th it does presuppose a certain level of self-love, uh, because we all love ourselves too much. Now, that's very different from the idea of self-care, where we are to care for our body, our mind, and our soul. Uh, you know, we are to find our Sabbath rest in Christ. That's very different from the selfish, egocentric sense of self-love. We're all filled with that. Last question. I've struggled with low self-esteem. What should I do? Well, the one thing that I'll tell you to do is almost impossible to do, and, and that is uh, think about yourself less. Um, that's almost really hard to do because that, that's almost the equivalent of saying, don't think about a pink elephant. What do you immediately do? Think about a pink elephant. When I say, don't think about yourself, uh, think about yourself less, uh, you usually become so self-conscious of trying not to think about yourself, that you actually think about yourself twice as much. So really the only solution to this is really in Christ, recognizing that in Christ you are God's masterpiece because of his love and mercy and grace to you, you have a, a tremendous worth and value. Um, now when you come to that place uh, and you find your identity in Christ, uh, you actually think about yourself less. Uh, there's a level of self-forgetfulness where you gain the best sense of self-esteem. It's not too high, it's not too low, but that's only because you're not focused on yourself. You're focused on Christ. And so it's only when you're not focused on yourself um, that really your struggle with low self-esteem will, will actually uh, begin to fade. Now, Again, there's a difference between thinking less of yourself, which is false humility, and thinking of yourself less, which is true humility. And I think too often we confuse the two, but we're to think of ourselves less by focusing on Christ.